New on WPXI tonight, bizarre crimes terrorizing a local community. And these are the people police think are responsible. And we actually had to blur their faces because they are all children. Channel 11's Amy Hudak found out why people are scared that these kids will get even bolder. They got cameras. They, got, they can't see me. It's the same four or five kids that terrorize the neighborhood. They don't look like they're any older than teens, but neighbor after neighbor says don't be fooled. I just want them to stop. Like I shouldn't have to worry about when I go to sleep at night, what's going to happen on my house. This woman is caring for her aging father who's on oxygen. She was in bed last night when her camera app sent her a notification. This is the back alley where neighbors say a group of teens loiters late at night. Last night in the snowstorm, one of them actually hopped this fence and stole the neighbor's surveillance cameras, snapping them right off the base. Neighbors have everything on camera, and this time they took it to police. The kids jumping the fence. They've even gone as far as terrorizing a neighborhood dog. I feel like I have to live in fear. I've had to put locks on the gates. I've had to put cameras up, which were stolen last night. Neighbors say it doesn't stop there. They've seen this group light trash cans and dumpsters on fire. Even pull the fire alarm week after week at a nearby senior living center. Wheelchair bound neighbors forced to evacuate every single time. It's eye opening when you can post something on a neighborhood Facebook page and you see the same thing happening across the neighborhood. We reached out to city police who are looking into recent reports of crime to see if they're connected. In the meantime, neighbors say this must stop before something goes horribly wrong. Delivering this direct message to the group stalking their neighborhood late at night. You, you need a reality check. I don't know what it's going to take, but if you don't stop now, I can't imagine what you're going to be in a couple years. In Brookline, Amy Hudak, Channel 11 News.